here's what I got uh, before I'd work with William Shatner. William Shatner does not suffer fools gladly. He does so much stuff in his life. His time is precious. What he wants from you is he wants and expects a level of professionalism that you don't just aspire to, but that you work at. And I'll give you, he, there was one time on Free Enterprise where he got a little prickly to me, but I learned a, an important lesson, and I've told this before. The first day he worked, we were shooting on Wilshire Boulevard at this movie theater, and now it's a performance venue called the El Rey Theater on Wilshire Boulevard. Uh, it was hectic. Why we were shooting on Wilshire Boulevard was probably a mistake, but we were stupid. We didn't know what we didn't know. And we're shooting this scene, one of the first scenes of the movie that he appears in, on Wilshire Boulevard. And everybody was nervous. Everybody wanted to do a good job. Most of all, me. I was very nervous. My DP, Chuck Barbie, who did a wonderful job, he was nervous. And when William Shatner came out on the set the first time, Chuck was still tweaking. We're still trying to get the lights perfect. But we were tweaking. We were still, we were not ready to shoot. And we called Shatner out to shoot. And Shatner, totally cool, takes me aside. And he was very stern with me. And he said, listen, Rob, when you call me to the set, this is our time to work. It's our time to block. It's our time you can make adjustments. It's our time. I don't want to come to the set while other people are working. I want to come to the set when it's my time to work. Because otherwise, that's interfering with my performance and it's interfering with what the work you and I are going to do together. He was cool about it. He said that to me. And I said, Bill, because you don't, you don't call him William. Everybody knows him calls him Bill. I said, Bill, that will never happen again. And it was one of the most important lessons that I've learned in my career. Now, unfortunately, I've not directed another movie, but I've produced things and directed other things. And I, I have learned a great deal about working with actors, but that was a very important lesson because on a movie set, everybody is very myopic. They're doing their, they're, they're trying to do their job. They're not thinking about other people's jobs because that's not their job. Their job is to do their job. Their job is to the, the grip and electrical department are thinking about what's the next setup. How can we do this as fast as we can? So the production team has as much time as they need the DP, the actor, the director to get the shots they need. Everybody's trying to do their own, their own job. And sometimes everybody on a film set also forgets that the actors, despite how much they're being paid, the actors are also there to do their jobs and they want to do their jobs the best they can. And, and Shatner told me first, first time out of the gate, that's all he needed to say. And after that, he, he, I think he had a great time because we knew that we were working with Shatner and we treated him like the Godfather, you know, great respect. And perhaps we might have overdone it a little bit with our respect, but Shatner appreciated it. He knew that he was being taken care of by me as a director and by the production team. And he understood that we were trying to run a tight ship, that even though we were making a very budgetarily challenged independent movie that we were, in fact, let's face it, paying him a great deal of money to be in. Um, he was still, he still did appreciate because look, Shatner doesn't care about, he cares about his money, obviously, but he knew he's getting, he's getting well paid. He always gets well paid. What he wants to do, like every actor, they want to be in a great movie and they want to work with great people that are serious, period. That's all anybody wants. And, and I think that we certainly won him over and he was delightful. Now there was one day that was a, it was a long day. We were going to go over 12 hours. We had budgeted, we budgeted for an overage. We we're going to be in this one location, this club called the Garden of Eden for 16 hours. Shatner, I had to have a conversation with him. I'm like, Bill, this is a 16 hour day. We're in this one location and you're in most of the shots. You're in most of the scene. 16 hours. Are you cool with it? Rob, I'm cool. No problem. That guy, he worked for 16 hours and 16 hours in, he was smoking stogies on set. He was joshing with the crew. He was having the best time. There was no reason that an actor who'd been working at this time about 50, 40 years that he needed to, to be as jovial and fun to work with on a 16-hour day as he was. The guy, his performance didn't suffer. Everything he did was amazing. And I have nothing but great things to say about William Shatner.